Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. We are here to announce the winners for the June Plein Air Salon. Before we get started though, I wanna share a little bit about who we are. I am Carrie Stober and I have been managing the Plein Air Salon for about five years now and we are in the middle of our 13th year, which is pretty exciting. For those that don't know what the Plein Air Salon is, it's a monthly and annual online art competition that was created by Eric Rhodes, the publisher of Plenar Magazine. And we do get a lot of comments about some of the artwork that is not Plenar painting. And I wanted to explain that since we are created by Plenar Magazine, we do have Plenar in our name, but we are not strictly a Plenar painting competition. If you flip through, through, sorry, through the pages of Plenar Magazine, you'll see that we feature articles on artists who are painting in a variety of subjects. So Plenar painting, they might also do portraiture or still life, um, a lot of studio work. So we feature both of them. So in that respect, our competition is open to a variety of mediums, subjects, and styles of painting. Um, however, we are a traditional painting competition. So one thing to keep in mind is that we don't have categories for things like digital art and sculpture. <clears throat> The salon has 12 monthly cycles with different judges and 23 winners, and we award over $2,000 in all cash prizes each month. And those um, first place winners also receive a feature on the Fine Art Connoisseur website. Um, and Art Collectors, sorry, Fine Art Connoisseur is the magazine for art collectors. So winning gets your painting in front of thousands of art collectors. We also have monthly cash prizes for our second and third place winners, and all of three of these winners will be included in a showcase on OutdoorPainter.com and our e-newsletters Planner Today and Fine Art Today, which is our newsletter for collectors. We also have a cash prize for our People's Choice Award in each of our 19 category winners each month. All of these winners will be featured in a showcase in Planner Magazine and receive recognition and promotion through our websites, newsletters, and social platforms. In total, we are awarding $50,000 this year between our monthly and our annual competitions. The 23 winners, winners from each monthly competition are automatically included in the annual competition where we award over $24,000. We award the award, we announce the awards live on stage at the Plenary Convention and the annual grand prize winner receives a check for $15,000 and their winning painting featured on the cover of Plenary Magazine. This is Kimball Geisler, our most recent winner of the 12th annual competition, and that is his painting on the cover of the upcoming issue of Plein Air Magazine, and you'll be able to see that on newsstands August 1st. <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit today about how we judge the Plein Air Salon, since there are a variety of ways you can judge in our competition. We use a blind judging system, which means that we don't show the judges any information about the artist. The only thing they're given is the painting and then details like the title, the medium, and the subject. We also don't offer feedback on the paintings as you enter, and that's simply because we get far too many entries. The judges look at each and every single painting that gets entered, and this month that was 867 paintings. There's just not enough time for our judges to go through and give individual feedback for every artist. In saying that though, I do encourage you to look at the top 100 paintings that we post every month. Um, those paintings, the top 100 are the highest scored paintings for that competition, and the awards will be pulled from that group of paintings. Something I've heard our previous winners say is that they use this competition as a way to compare themselves to other artists. So they would enter a painting and if they didn't win, they would look at what did win to see how their art compared to it, whether it was a different style or if they just really, that was a stellar painting and my painting is just not to that level yet. They would use it as a way to gauge how they needed to improve themselves and they would take the time to paint more, paint more, paint more until they finally had that winning painting. So I encourage you guys, if you don't win, to look at those top 100 to see how you compare and just keep painting. It's, you'll get there, I promise. Okay, now that we've gone through all of that, I would like to bring in our special guest today, Peggy Immel. Hi, Peggy, you are muted. There we go. There we go. Yes. Thanks for joining us, Peggy. I'm so glad you were able to come. I was uh, talking to her earlier, and this is the first time we've actually had a judge on the show since last August. So you guys are all busy painting, and so I'm so glad that Peggy's able to join us today. 
Peggy, for those that don't know who you are, do you want to give us some information about you? Sure. Uh, I'm a landscape painter and I work primarily in oils. I live in Taos, New Mexico. My educational background includes architectural studies at Arizona State University. And uh, I also have taken classes at the Boston Museum School, the Decordova Museum School when they had a school, and at Silvermine Academy. And I've taken a lot of workshops from artists I admire. I've been on the faculty of the plein air convention two times. And my work is shown by Sorrel Sky Gallery and they have a location in Santa Fe and in Durango, Colorado. And it's also shown at Wilder Nightingale Fine Art in Taos. Uh, I wanna mention that uh, I'm gonna be in a two person show with my husband, who's a photographer uh, that will open September 2nd at Wilder Nightingale here in Taos. And uh, I was delighted and honored to be invited to judge the plein air salon. So thank you, Carrie. You're welcome. Thank you. And you are also a past winner of the salon. You've entered a lot of times over the years and you, your paintings are just, they're so good. They're so good. I love your use of color, especially when you kind of get that fall color in there with the golds and the yellows. Oh, I love those. Oh, thank you, Carrie. Yeah. And I did not know that your husband was a photographer. So that's really cool that you guys get to do a show together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he shows on his own. He, he had some work last year in the Albuquerque Museum. They have an annual fundraiser called the Arts Thrive. So he's, he, he does really nice work, I think. Nice. I'll have to check that out. I love photography. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where I started before I went into um, painting, not professionally and by any stretch of the word, but yeah. I just love taking pictures. And then that kind of stretched into, well, I also like painting. So yeah. <laughs> it works. I'd like, I'd like to see what you do. Are well, I've got this one little one little painting up here that you can see. It's not really little; it's big. Um, oh, I did that right. for my that's background, but I've just been thank you. I've just been dabbling. I love pastel, so I've been working in that for quite a while. Um, watching lots of videos and learning from lots of different artists from all of our faculty that we have. Um, so yeah, it's been fun to kind of learn and kind of grow because I found this year that if you actually employ the things that you learn. It's amazing how fast you can improve. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, we are going to get to the awards now. So we're going to okay. send Peggy backstage and then we are going to bring her back out in a little bit. So Peggy, hold tight. Okay. First up is going to be our honorable mention awards. These winners, so sorry, these artists will receive an honorable mention for each of our categories. Um, these 19 artists receive a $100 gift card to Paint Tube TV, and they are included in the showcase in the digital edition of Planner Magazine and will be promoted throughout our various websites, newsletters, and social media platforms. The first award for this evening is going to be for Animals and Birds. The Animal, animal and Birds honorable mention goes to Olga Hegner for Catch Me If You Can. Best art, or sorry, artist over 65 honorable mention goes to Linda Muti for Sierra Majesty. Best beginner honorable mention goes to Ken Sally for Warm Sun Lake. Sorry, our, we're having technical difficulties. Our slides do not want to cooperate. So this is Ken Sally, best beginner, honorable mention. And building honorable mention goes to Michael Lewis for St. Francis in Santa Fe. Clouds and Sky, honorable mention, goes to Philippe Gandial for Storm Chaser. Drawing honorable mention goes to Deb Bates for Hope. Figure and Portrait Honorable Mention goes to Camille Prezwadek for Vernaza Beach Morning. Floral Honorable Mention goes to Cynthia Peterson for Fuchsia. Landscape Honorable Mention goes to Catherine Townsend for Farmland Sky, Idaho. Nocturne Honorable Mention goes to Kirk Larson for Midnight Swim. Plein Air Acrylic Honorable Mention goes to 
Nancy Roberts for Summer Wind Martinez Shoreline. Plenary Landscape Honorable Mention goes to Carl Terry for Two Oaks. Plenar Oil Honorable Mention goes to have it. Apparently we are missing this slide. My apologies to you guys for that. We will get that up towards the end of the broadcast. Um, let's see what is next. Is next one would be Plenar Pastel. There we go. And this honorable mention award goes to Stephen Hill for Morning Sun Shadows. Plenar Watercolor and Gouache honorable mention goes to Polly Smith for Where Jim Lives. Our Still Life honorable mention goes to Cap Kathleen Gray Farthing for Let's Go Fishing. Our vehicle honorable mention goes to Timothy Horn for Airstream with Clouds. Our water honorable mention goes to Rick J. Delante for Seals Rock Laguna Beach. Our western honorable mention goes to Doug Levitt for three days at Fort Benton. And I do apologize, our, um, our Planner Oil winner or honorable mention was Samuel Baltes for Peaceful Evening. So I apologize that that slide was missing from there, Samuel, but we will get you included later. Okay, so congratulations to all of our honorable mentions for this evening. You'll be able to see their artwork on the Planner Salon website under the June Winners Gallery. And you'll also be able to see them in the digital edition of the October, November issue of Plenar Magazine. Now for our category awards. As I mentioned before, these artists each receive a $50 cash prize, a showcase in Plenar Magazine, and they are promoted through our various websites, newsletters, and social media platforms. First up will be our Animals and Birds Award. So Best Animals and Birds goes to Joseph Sundwall for Power by Horse, of course. Best Artist Over 65 goes to Chris Kropinski for Bird's Eye View. Best Beginner goes to Susan LeBud for Old Finn. Sorry, Best Building goes to Richard Boyer for Zoe Trope Cafe. Best Clouds and Sky goes to Terry Ford for Dune Sunset. Best Drawing goes to Susan Gooding for Winter Nest. Best Figure and Portrait. This goes to Carol Lee Thompson for Happy Happy. Best Floral goes to Jane Hunt for Lavender Fields. Best Landscape goes to Kathleen Riley for Fence Line. Best Nocturne goes to Leonard Miserec for Midnight Anchor. Best Plein Air Acrylic goes to Rick J. Delante for Light in the Mission. Best Plein Air Landscape goes to Chen Chen. Chan Chen Yang for Moonset by the Zongkong River. Best Plein Air Oil goes to Baruta Hansen for Safe Harbor. Best Plein Air Pastel goes to Alejandro Gos for Edmonds Marsh. Best Plein Air Watercolor and Gouache goes to Brienne and Brown for Forsaken. Best Still Life goes to Duray Wasim for A Warm Welcome. Best Vehicle goes to Stuart White for Andriamo CV2. Best Water 
goes to Barbara Janicki for, not Edmonds Marsh, I apologize, that's the wrong title on here, but this is Barbara Janicki. And Best Western goes to Mike Begdonis for Flank Writers. Congratulations to all of our category winners. You will be able to see them in the October, November issue of Planner Magazine, as well as on the website in the June Winners Gallery. Up next is our People's Choice Award. This artist receives a $100 catch prize. And the People's Choice Award for June goes to Jasmine Strebel for Soul Connection. Congra congratulations, Jasmine. The People's Choice Award, we open up the voting each month after the competition ends, and each artist is able to, able to share their artwork on social media, and whichever painting gets the most votes receives the People's Choice Award. So congratulations to Jasmine. Okay, we are going to bring back our judge, Peggy, now. Welcome back, Peggy. Thank you. Um, so the first question I wanted to ask you is, have you judged art competitions before, or is this the first one? Oh, no, I've, I've judged a number of competitions. I've judged plein air events. Um, it's always difficult, but uh, it's always rewarding because there's so many interesting and really excellent paintings. So it's a, it, it's a, it's a fun, it's a fun thing to do. I wouldn't call it fun. I'd call it <laughs> educationally pleasant. Educationally pleasant. I like that one. Yeah. I did have a judge one month who he did find it fun. And I don't know if that was if he had retired recently or was just looking for something to do or if that's just something he genuinely enjoyed. But he had so much fun doing it. So yeah. I love that. Um, what I do you typically? It. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. I would not want any judge to not enjoy it. It should be a pleasant experience yeah. and not be something that's difficult to do. <laughs> Um, my next question is, what do you kind of look for? What are your criteria when you're judging an art competition? Well, the, the first thing I look for uh, are paintings that just stand out for some reason. It might be a color scheme. It might be a pattern of lights and darks. It might be a dynamic composition. So I look for those paintings. And then after I find those paintings, then I begin to consider the technical aspects. Is the composition good? Is it well painted? Is is it true to the uh, <clears throat> is it true to the medium? In other words, does it? It's a watercolor, and it looks like it's a watercolor. Mm -hmm. And then and then I try to judge. And this is harder. It's a little more subjective. How the artist responded to the subject was it a personal point of view, a, a unique point of view? or was it a more uh, standard point of view? So those mm -hmm. are the things I look for. And uh, I can't really tell you the priorities other than a painting that is really dynamic and stands out will always probably be in the final running. Right. Yeah. I know for me, I love color. So if I was judging anything that had bright colors then it would win. <laughs> And that would make it easier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the first award we've got in our top award for this evening is going to be third place. This artist receives a, a cash prize for $200. And this award goes to Kim Lordier for Kind of Like Diamonds in the Sky. Congratulations, Kim. Um, Peggy, do you want to tell us why you selected Kim's painting for this award? Sure. Um, well, first of all, I want to say that all of the paintings that, that won the top three awards, well, they had a unique point of view. They, they weren't standard. They were unique in their, either their, the positioning of the viewer or their approach to color. Something about them was unique and, and very different. And the thing I liked about this painting is that contrary to most landscape paintings, it didn't have a huge expanse of sky. It's a very sheltered, private, quiet uh, feeling of being deep in a forest in the winter. I love her use of color in the sparkles in the river. And I love that little bit of sky that peeks through. It has beautiful composition, a great uh, center of interest. Um, it's just beautifully done. It's a lovely painting. It is. And 
this is what amazes me is that this is a pastel painting. And for me, like right off the bat, when I look at it, I can tell that it's pastel because I'm a pastelist. But the longer you look at it, it doesn't, I mean, just the lines that she has, the coloring, it's just amazing. I love Kim's work and I love Kim because nice. she's just an amazing artist and she's such a wonderful person. And she's so encouraging to me personally in my own journal yeah. journey with pastel. So it's, oh, her work is just great. I love it. Yeah. So she congratulations, Kim. Yay. I wanted to say one other thing in terms of, you took it down, but in terms of the coloration in that painting, she has a wonderful use of warm and cool temperatures. She really does. Yeah. Right there at the bank, it's very warm right. and then cool along the sides. Yeah. And I know that's one thing I really struggle with painting too, is trying to get that, um, that dynamic, you know, of the two, you know what I mean? Two ends of the spectrum kind of right. is yeah. just being able to pull that into the shadow and not have it be the same value, same hue. Yeah, she does a great job. I definitely will not be uh, entering those competitions anytime soon. <laughs> That's a beautiful painting. It is. Okay, now for our second place award. This artist receives a $300 cash prize tonight, and the second place award goes to... Barbara Coleman for From the Bridge. Um, the thing I like about this painting is that it's a landscape, but it has a very elevated perspective. And, mm -hmm. I, and, the, and the colors in it are wonderful. They're just beautifully managed. Uh, it, this aerial point of view that she's chosen, and the title really tells you it's from the bridge, and you can see the shadow of the bridge in the water. All the beautiful modulations of the way she's managed color are, are just wonderful. So, And the composition is dynamite because your eye goes immediately to the center of interest, which is over on the left side of the painting, viewer's left, and it follows the line of the river and the trees. And then it's brought very subtly back up into the composition by that bridge shadow. So I just thought it was beautifully composed. It really is. That's a beautiful painting, Barbara. Congratulations. Okay, and for our final award this evening, which is first place overall, this artist receives a $600 cash prize and will have a feature on fineartconnoisseur.com, outdoorpainter.com, a fine art today, and planner today. And the winner is Timothy Horn for French Curve. Congratulations, Timothy. Um, this painting just knocked me out. It's it again is very unique in its point of view. It's obviously somebody admiring this old classic car, uh, but it's done from the point of view of the viewer. The, the colors in it are really masterful. There's a little halation on that shadow that emphasizes the warmth of the sunlight coming in. And the title is French Curve, and I think the shapes in this painting really uh, show that the French curve feeling. It's just beautiful. I just love this painting. It oh, really is fantastic. The reflections love, of the sky on the bumper, that's awesome. Right, and I love the uh, one thing that I really admired is that it is a viewer and it'd be very easy to just leave, simply do the shadow and leave it at that. But he's but little, you can see the images of the viewer throughout in the reflections mm -hmm. in, the, in the chrome. So it, it's just a beautifully done uh, painting. And I think it's, uh, uh, I, I just think the color management in it is fantastic. It's beautiful. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for taking the time to judge today, or not judge today, but judge for June and to join us that today. my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, yes, and sorry yes. uh, for technical issues that we've had no today, but I appreciate you and I appreciate everyone who's watched and I thank you all so much for joining us today. Don't forget to enter your paintings into the July plein air salon, which ends tonight at midnight. Our judge this month is artist Kevin McPherson. You don't want to miss out on your opportunity to get your artwork in front of him, just like all of these artists got in front of Peggy and she just picked some stellar paintings. So oh, congratulations, thank everyone. Thank you, thank you, Peggy. And have a great night, everyone.